Hello, it is Mark. Welcome to Scotch Sunday. Today I have Tomaten. This is from their Quarto series, uh, which they spell it, as you can see how they spell it, with a um, C. They said it means four, but I was always taught Quarto started with a Q. So, but anyway, it's a series of four they did. They did a Manzanilla cask, which this is. They did a PX, they did an Oloroso, and they did a Fino Sherry. This is the first one I'm trying. This apparently was is a limited edition. Uh, it says finished, uh, limited to 3,000 bottles, and I already have three of them, so maybe I'm going to go buy four. These are very great buy. 40 bucks. Awesome buy. Uh, for It's a 12-year-old. It's done nine years in ex-American oak bourbon casks and then three years in the manzanilla casks. And all in the series are done that way. Nine years in the in the bourbon and then three years in the whatever they, which depending on which bottle you get. So anyway, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to breathe a bit. So yeah, tell me where you're going to find another. You're not going to find too many single malt, 12 year old single malt scotches for 40 bucks. So I think this is a great deal. I don't know how bad this has to be to be only $40 for a single ball, but I doubt it could be that bad. I've not had too many manzanilla casts of it. I had a Bunahabin. I think I had another one. I don't remember what the other Oh, yeah. What was the other one? I think there's a, a, a um, one of the Glen Morangies that I have is. But anyway, so Tomatin is a Highland single malt scotch. They were found established in 1895, but distilling went on at the site as early as the 16th century. In 1906, they went bankrupt, reopened in 1909. In 1986, they were purchased by a Japanese company. Um, in, in Before that, prior to that, like, uh, or no, in right after that, they were the one of the largest, if not the largest, distiller in Scotland. However, m almost all of their stuff went into blends. Um, by 2007, though, their their production decreased by half. Uh, I think blends account, but like I said, mostly in blends, I think about 80% of what they put out, it was at that time in um, blends, but they are now trying to get their footing and kind of increase their single malt lines, which I think is a, a 12, 14, 18, 30, 36, all of which I've had. Uh, there's a cast strength. I've had that also. The Legacy Dualcus, depending on which side of the pond you're on. In the U.S., it's Dualcus. Um, this part, I think, is part of the core line. And then they have a peated Kubantan. Uh, but it's kind of like Balvini. They just make that one week of the year. Um... Oh, I do need to roll this before we talk about it. So, okay. All right, let me uh, read this. To, let me show you the color. I'm... So there you go. Here's the bottle. So, okay. Let me go ahead and read this bottle to you. Tomatin, uh, yeah, it's got a date distilled 2003, bottled 2015, moved to Sherry Cast in 2011. 46% ABV. Uh, Quarto series, which I was always like, quart, Quattro. Like I said, I think they just spelt it wrong because it meaning four doesn't make any sense. There really is not a lot for me to read to you here. So, Tomatin Distillery, home of the finest island single malt scotch whiskey, is located on the Mondaleth Mountains, just south of Inverness, capital of the Highlands of Scotland. Established in 1897, Tomatin, to rhyme with satin, so Tomatin. So it's Tomatin. Um, is one of the is also one of the highest distilleries in Scotland at 350. 51 meters above sea level. Soft waters of the Alna Firth, uh, which runs clear and pure through the mountains to help create a highland malt with delicate flavors yet rich and mellow style, is undoubtedly quality and cons 
its undoubted quality and consistency make for a truly fine dryer. That's it. So, we'll just go to the nose. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely doesn't smell like the Bunahaban man as a knee, I guess. That was delicious. There is still some of that toffee caramel. Yeah, there's some nuts in there. Uh, let's go with... Walnuts. Getting a little bit of honey and vanilla, but really that caramelly that I'd expect from the manzanilla casks. Some pear. Hmm. Not a very, not very strong smelling. So, all right, let's see what we got. Slunch of up. Butterscotch. Honey, sweet, nutty, like with chocolate, like chocolate covered nuts. Like I said, it's more like walnuts to me. Very sweet. It's got a long finish. But clean, I mean, it's gone. It's 46%, yeah, 46% ABV. It's not hot for, at all. Uh, I would have, it tastes like it's 40. Okay, I'm getting more of that butterscotch on the nose now. Yeah, butterscotch. Yeah, more of a buttery note. Not, it's not much fruit. Just, I mean, like pear. I mean, whew, all right. Buttery, buttery walnuts, very sweet. Some honey in there, like dried apricots. Okay, good, very good. Um, again, forty dollars for this bottle. Forty dollars. That's find me, find me another single malt for forty bucks. Maybe your Glenmorangie G original, and like. Uh, Probably some of the, uh, the other, the Dualcus by Tom Tomatin. Um, but you're not going to find too many for this price. And good good luck if you want to hunt one down. Like I said, it's supposedly a limited to 3,000 bottles. Oh, it was a website. I think I saw that. Um, yeah, because it doesn't say that on here. And I had heard that it was limited. But um, it does not say that on here, but I think, it, I think on the website it says it. All right, we'll see you next time. Hey.